Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're going to take a look at Photoshop. Um, in regards to uh, some questions that I've been getting, a lot of people are asking about uh, 3D text. Um, what's a quick, easy way to create an extruded layer um, that has some depth to it and then make some simple color changes accordingly? Um, since we're using this right now in my classes for... Um, uh, commercial unit that we're doing it seems fitting for this tutorial so let's get started all right to begin with we're in Photoshop here I've already opened that up I'm gonna go ahead and start a new document in the document um, according to whatever you're working with here um, it just so happens that we're working with uh, high def stuff so we're gonna go ahead and put 1080 okay and then you can put the resolution up to 150 to 300 anywhere in there that's a pretty good range for that now if you wanna not have to go through all of these steps of typing this stuff in there is also custom settings here um, if you go into film and video right away you can go in and you get a whole nother drop down list of all the different stuff so if you know exactly what your film dimensions are that you're gonna be using the text in you can use that so let's say I wanted to do 1080p at 29.97 frames per second. Go ahead and click on that. Okay. Now I am going to adjust the resolution because I like it to look a little bit better here. So we're going to go ahead. We've got it all set. Click OK. Now once into the document here, we've got my background layer, which is white. Work up perfectly. Let's go ahead and create a text layer. I'm going to switch my font really quick to something that's got a lot of edges to it. Uh, like for instance this one works uh, pretty well it's a very strong serif font and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just type anywhere in here and I'm gonna keep my font black for now so you can kinda see all the effects that are going here so we've got Red Hawk we'll start with that and uh, let's make some adjustments here let's go ahead and stretch that out a little bit first I gotta highlight it Okay. And I'm just going to go to plus 50, so that's a little wider. Well, let's go even bigger than that, 75%. All right, that's good. Good start there. Let's go ahead and move that so that we're all lined up here. All right, next thing, I'm going to go ahead and just create a basic rectangle here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the shape tool. And uh, again, I'm using black for the fill. So I'm going to come up here, grab the fill, make that black. And uh, the stroke, I don't really need the stroke weight around it. So let's go ahead and very quickly draw our thin rectangle that's going to become 3D. There we go. And then from here, let's go ahead and add on one more layer of text. And that'll be right down here. And we're just going to capitalize all this to take up a little bit more space. And stretch this out like so. Put this up to like 100. And give me a little bit more width out of that, and we're all set. Okay, and now I've got my basic layers here all ready to go for 3D. Um, the first thing that I have to do, though, before I get started is I want to actually convert the text into shapes. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get into the 3D mode with this. So I'm going to right-click on the text layer, and I'm going to go to Convert to Shape. Okay, now in the Red Hawk layer, same thing, Convert to Shape. I've got three different shape layers here. Um, I don't actually need all three of them anymore, so I'm going to merge them together. I highlight all three with the, just a quick shift click, and I right click on all that, and I'm going to go merge shapes. So I've got all that going on now. All right, next step from here. Um, now that I've got one layer that's a shape that's ready to become 3D, go ahead and right click on it again. Down at the bottom of my list, you can see new 3D extrusion. Now, an extrusion is basically just means that you're going to add some depth to the text. Okay, so I click on that, and it's going to process for a little while. It says you're about to create a 3D later. Would you like to switch to 3D workspace? Of course. And it'll just take a moment to process here. And here we are. We've got our basic 3D text on our 3D plane. So you can kind of see what's going on here. The extrusion is the part that's going back from each of the letters here. Now, to customize a little bit, okay? Um, I've got this. This is kind of a hard view to work from, so I'm going to switch back over to my layers, okay? I'm going to do one more thing because the background I'm going to make useful here. I'm going to actually make that a 3D layer, too, so I'm going to make it a postcard, which means that the text will perfectly sit on top of it in the background, okay? So I click postcard 
All right, and now I switch back to my layers again, and you can see I've got two different 3D things going on here. All right, starting with the media one. Some adjustments that I can make here. On the actual extrusion material, which is the stuff that goes back, I can actually do some color changing. If I double click on that, it brings up this whole layer. Now right now it's plain Jane, there's nothing to it, but I can go ahead and pick some different colors and tinker around with how I want that extrusion to look. So I just chose a red for the foreground. I'm going to hit Alt Delete and I'm going to fill that area in. Now without closing this, I'm going to go ahead and go back and you're going to see that it makes an adjustment on my extrusion layer. So now I've got a black um, font face here and then the extruding part is red that goes back. That's kind of cool. All right, um, looks pretty slick. Um, I'm going to go with that. I would recommend going in and tinkering more with these uh, different things here. Um, try some different colors, see which combination is going to work best with your text um, and whatever you're going to put the text in. So I'll try to color coordinate with all of that. Okay, um, one more thing that you can do um, just to tinker around with, there are a load of different settings in the 3D tab here. Uh, one of them in particular that you can tinker with is you can go in and you can change the reflection or shininess of different layers. So if I want to come in and I want to add more shine onto this particular layer, I can do that. I can give it a little bit more of a reflective value. And you can see how that's starting to pick up the different colors from the different areas. Now, for me, that's not exactly cutting it because it's starting to pick up too much of the other materials and I'm losing kind of that dark red. So I make just little adjustments, try that out here and put that down. I can rough it up. I can bump the front or the font face out a little bit so it gives it a little bit more of a dimensional um, kind of curve on it. And you get the idea. Switch back over to my layers and there we have it. And so that's kind of a starting point. Like I said, tinker with more of the extrusion stuff um, to get the look that you're going for. When it's all said and done with my two layers here, what I'm going to go ahead and do to get the kind of the final look of this to see um, how it's actually going to look when I export it, I go up to 3D. And from here, I can go to Render. I know Render usually is like something that sounds like video, um, but in 3D, it's got to go through and it's got to process all of this stuff. And you can see with each pass of the blue lines here, the picture is going to get clearer and clearer until finally it gets to the one that I really um, like here. Okay, that's our tutorial for today, quick 3D extrusion. Um, once this is done rendering, um, you would save this as a, a JPEG. You take that JPEG, move it into whatever program you want. If you wanted to get rid of the background, you just basically delete that out of there. You'd have transparency then. And of course, you can save that as a PNG. And then you can take it into After Effects or anything like that that you want to work with. Um, shine some lights on it. And uh, yeah, shine on your crazy diamond. You got the idea? So that's another episode of Red Hawk Media. Thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs>